Science 2, Animals and Their Young Objectives At the end of the lesson, you should be able to 1. Compare young animals with their parents and with other young animals. 2. Describe the similarities between a parent animal and its young in terms of body parts. 3. Identify the young of a parent animal and 4. Tell the name of some baby animals. Look at the parent animals and their young. What do you observe? Do the baby animals look like their parents? Or do they look different? Some young animals look like their parents. Their body parts are like their parents' body parts. But there are young animals that look different from their parents. They have body parts that are different from their parents' body parts. Look at the following pairs of parent and young animals. The young of a cow, carabao, and elephant are called calf. These calves have body parts that are like their parents' body parts. The calf of a cow and a carabao, for example, also have horns like their parents. The calf of an elephant has a trunk and a tusk like its parent. These calves also have the same body coverings as their parents. The young of a lion, a tiger, and a bear are called cub. These cubs and their parents also have the same body parts and body coverings. What do these calves and cubs have in common? In what ways are they different? These calves and cubs all have the main body parts, head, body, and four legs. They all have a tail, too. They differ in some body parts. Only the calves of a cow and carabao have horns. Only the calf of an elephant has a tusk and trunk. The young of a horse is called a foal. The young of a deer is called a fawn. The young one of a sheep is called a lamb. The young of a rabbit is a called a bunny or a kitten. Like the animals shown earlier, these young animals also look the same as their parents. The foal also has a mane like its parent. The fawn also has antlers like its parent. The lamb also has thick wool like its parent. And the bunny or kitten also has long ears like its parent. The special body parts that these young animals have make them different from one another and from other animals. The young of a cat is called a kitten. The young of a dog is called a puppy. The young of a goat is called a kid. The young of a kangaroo is called a joey. The young of a bird is a nestling. How are these young animals the same as their parents? How are they different from other animals? The young of a turkey is a poult. The young of a duck is a duckling. The young of a hen is a chick. The young of a goose is a gosling. The young of a fish is a fingerling. The young of a mosquito is a wriggler. The wriggler looks very much different from its parent. It does not have wings, proboscis, and legs like what its parents have. The young of a frog is a tadpole. Can you tell why a tadpole looks different from its parent? What body parts does a frog have that a tadpole does not have? The young of a fly is a maggot. The young of a butterfly is a caterpillar. Maggots and caterpillars do not have wings that their parents have. How are these two young animals the same? How are they different from other animals? Now, do this activity. Say the name of the young animals. Hen. Chick. Horse. Foal. Goose. Gosling. Deer. Fawn. Dog. Puppy. Duck. Duckling. Sheep. 
lamp. Cat. Kitten. Goat. Kid. Lion. Cup. Good job.